Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. I've got a lovely Hawthorne here. I need to take a few big decisions on it, so let's take a closer look. I did do some work on this last year. I just wired a couple of branches and removed a couple of branches that I knew were in, definitely in the wrong place. It's got a lovely sweeping trunk, as you can see. But in the majority last year, I just left this to get on, get healthy, put some nice roots down. But now, it's going, well, as you can see, it's going kind of wild and I need to bring some of these branches back in and make a decision on what the eventual style of this tree is going to be. I do have options. I mean, it would be crazy to, to take it right down low down here because we've got this lovely curve and it does taper up quite well, but it was initially cut up here and I think this is just way too high. When we look up here at the top, we've got multiple branches to choose from, but it's quite messy around here. It was a fairly big chop. It doesn't taper particularly well into this, and I just think it's too high and lanky, so I need to bring it down. One possibility is to bring it right down to here and let this go across, but I like the way this curves back, and to me, it naturally works into this, almost sort of flowing round and then over and down. I've got a branch here at the back that's just in the way, so I'll remove that. And then these other branches above this branch may as well be cut off because they're just causing me difficulties. This one here. It's very hard, Hawthorne. I can get rid of that. And that gives me nice access now to make this cut. This may well stay, so I want to try and do it without damaging that. And I also want the cut to be sort of facing the back of the tree if possible. So I'm going to try and do a really neat job on this. It's a lovely, nice clean cut. And hopefully this will heal. You know, I don't want to have to carve that top. With a bit of luck, that will roll over. I'm really pleased with that. That's one of the big decisions made. I've got lots of small branches to prune off, but I've got one more big decision. And it's one I'm still unsure about. It's, it's this branch here. From this front view, I actually don't mind it too much. It comes from a great place. The problem is, as I view it from around here, it becomes quite long and it's, there's no taper in that branch at all. And so I would have to cut it right back if I decided to keep it. And if I'm keeping it, I'll have to remove this one, I think. It just looks out of proportion with the rest of the branching, so it's got to go. Because it's so hard, I won't cut this off with my concave cutters. What I'll do is I'll just sew it off again. Nice and clean, nice flush cut. My big decisions are made. Now it's a question of starting down at the bottom and deciding which branches should stay and which should go. This area here is where I removed one of the two large branches last year. One there and one there. And from the top of this cut here, a, a branch has gone up and that's just not a good place for it. I'm definitely keeping this. It's beginning to get a bit of taper into it, this branch. It's got a little bit of movement. I like it. So the one that's coming out immediately next to it, that can go. I really like this branch out at the back that I wired last year. And this one's kind of coming towards us and it competes a bit. You can't have both of them. So this one can go. This is a nice healthy tree and it's going to put out lots more buds and branches and everything. So I don't need to be worried about removing material. And 
this branch is just all too clogged up around here so that was only one that developed last year so that can go as for this back one I'm not sure we've got a, a nice branch here that I like and can I have both of these I think I have to pick one either this or this I prefer the position of this which is located halfway between these two so I will remove this I didn't originally plan on removing this one but it's got to go this is in a nice position this small branch and there's a little stumpy one behind it there that also works so I think everything is good now right up to the top so let's have a look up there before I look at the top though I've got some extremely long growth coming out of these branches and this is quite skinny it's the first branch I want it to develop it's in a great place so I'm going to leave both of these very long branches on at the end just to thicken that up add vigor I can always cut that back later to develop taper but for now I need to thicken that up obviously I won't cut anything off this one this is thin however this one is now quite thick compared to the others and it's got these two crazy long branches coming off it so to control the growth of this one what I'll do is cut this back to there now to the top I don't want to prune anything at all off this certainly don't I want to try and pull sap through this to try and heal that wound on the top if I can I don't know if I'll ultimately be able to but I'm going to have a try so that is just left alone all these small ones they're all great but it's a little bit clumpy around this area looking around from the back of the tree we can see there are quite a lot of branches coming from these similar positions I'm keeping this thicker branch there so the smaller branch coming from the sort of crotch there that has to go and I'll just clean that up there's a little first branch there that also is better off being removed I'm just tidying bits and bobs up here I'm happy to leave all of that to grow and I think I need to remove this as I said this is the thickest branch by far up at the top in this area so I need to hold it back but I want to leave some vigor on the tree but it divides quite nicely into two up here and I can select one of them and that'll add good taper where it forks here I can take that off remove this branch from the crotch there yeah that's nice that's got a good taper that branch now I won't take any more of it obviously these two branches are on the inside of this bend which is fine I'm not bothered about that but I need to remove one of them so I'll get rid of this weaker weaker one there and that was kind of opposite this we've got a little kind of dead stump there that can go as well and I think I'm getting somewhere I've got a, a sort of dead stump there that can go I'm really pleased with how that pruning has gone so far I think it's I think it's looking a lot better the question now is do I bother doing any wiring I could potentially add some movement into some of these branches and I think it will be for the best this one is naturally like this and it looks fantastic so I'm thinking if I could add some similar movement into these branches here then that would just improve the tree definitely and also I'm wondering whether I could just turn that up a little bit I'm not sure about that one I decided to add a piece of wire to this branch to get that moved up all hawthorns are different this is brutal they're extremely sharp and very hard these uh, 
thorns, so not to be messed with. Got to be very careful with this tree. Now in terms of the bend, as I say, I don't want to go crazy on this. I've added a really, quite a thick piece of wire because the thick branches, they take some moving, but there, just by doing that, I think it just adds some extra interest into, into this part of the tree. And hopefully, I bent it there, but I'd like to just get a bit of bend further up if I can, just on this very end section, just, just like that. That's it. I think that's improved the flow of the tree, definitely. Now to get some wire on these lower branches. I decided just to wire these three branches down here. I like the idea that this branch could somehow mimic this, this branch by going down and then perhaps coming up, although that might be a bit of a big ask. I think if I can just get it going in a downward direction like that, to, yeah, like I say, to kind of mimic it a bit, Perhaps a little bit more down. Just like that. And then if I can bring the end up, I think that would look really good. There. That's it. It's quite subtle. Quite subtle, but it's... It's just giving me some interest, really. This is a lot thinner, so it'll be much easier to bend with a bit of luck. I'm going careful with them because, you know, I don't fancy like snapping these branches. I've not got loads of branches down here. That looks good, I like that. I like that quite severe bend to start with and then more of a sweep. perhaps just away a bit and then towards and up like that yeah that's good that so again it, it's not a it's not a very extreme bend but it doesn't need to be that I want these relatively Subtle, but I love the way that they mimic that branch there, kind of by going down and up. Obviously these come up first and then down. And now what I decide to do with that back one, I don't want that to be exactly the same as those. So I think that might be better sort of coming out and up. Perhaps this one can come up like that and then out this one now could perhaps just come up that way a bit and then back that's it uh, yeah that works i think what i need to do to make these different is to get this down a bit more at the base so by Bringing that down like that. Ah yeah, that's it. I do have just one more branch to prune. I've got a nice bud here, and this is just dipping down too far. So if I cut to that, this bud now should take off in this direction, grow upwards, and or I might even cut back to there in the future. But for now, at least it's not as long. I've just been out and applied cut paste anywhere where I removed the branch. And let's go for one final twirl. I'm really happy with the work I've done there. I think it looks really good. <laughs> I've got a massive, <laughs> an absolutely massive cut there that I've missed. <laughs> this one somehow slipped through the net. Give that a nice coat there. The other thing I never mentioned was the Nabari, and I've got no idea, I can't remember. 
I collected this tree 12 months ago and my focus at the time, as it always is, was just keeping it alive. So I buried it in plenty of soil to try and give it the best chance. And I can't really recall, I know it had a naturally flat root base, but I can't recall what the flare was like at the, the bottom. Now we've got a bit of flare there. Flipping heck, I piled a lot of soil into this. At least there's something happening. There's some roots down here. We've got a root on this side here. Is that a rock? I think that's a root. That could be a root over some kind of rock. No, it is. Oh, look. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought that was a root. The tree should go on now and have a nice healthy year, put on lots of new growth, and I can come back and do some pruning in the summer of the new shoots that appear. As always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.